I recognize that people find something seductive about the evolutionary story and that is if you can point out similarities between things then people find it at least intriguing the idea that there can be transitions that go from A to B because you see the similarities and the similarities are certainly subject suggestive. A key take home for me that I would like people to, to get from reading the book is that Darwinists really need to confront not the similarities, but the differences. To say that A and B are similar, and that you have a theory that, it can, that can explain the similarities, is to say nothing at all, because similarities don't really need an explanation. What needs explanation is the differences in all of these transitions of going from A to B. So that is the key focus for us. In all of these substantial transitions of form, there are not only similarities, they are there, we grant that, but there are differences. Can Darwinism explain the differences? If I can get people to think about that and to realize how hard it is for Darwinism to explain even really, really modest differences, then I think we can change the way people think about this.